Hello techies, welcome back to the channel. My name is Krishna and I am a big data tester. So let's get started with the, our SQL series. So let's crack SQL and today we are going to start with 51st question that is 51 question and then let's see how many questions we can cover. So let's go to the screen and let's get started. So before I start, let me explain. Uh, these are the three tables that is employee table and department table and salary table. These are the three tables we are going to use in our SQL. And uh, so employee and department table, these two are the main tables. If you have not seen the part other part of the series, please go and watch them so that you can easily connect. And I have given the DDL scripts also so that you can create these tables and also uh, insert the data that we are working on. So 50 display the name of the employee who earns highest salary highest salary is we know that king is earning highest salary but still we will have to write in him from EMP where sal equal to inside now there is a concept of sub queries which is coming in this is very important for any ETL tester please be focused when I am solving these problems so that you will understand all these topics which is very very important for all the ETL testers database testers and BI testers so please watch carefully where sal is max of sal from EMP let's run this so king is the one who is getting the highest salary we can mention his salary also then we'll get this king 5000 which is the maximum salary so similarly 50 second question display the employee number and name from for employee working as clerk and highest earning highest salary among clerk okay so what i would do is let me make this simpler for you so what is the end part of it earning highest salary among clerks let's find out the highest salary among clerks okay select max of cell from emp where job equal to clerk okay so this will give me the max salary of clerk so this is done now what do i want i want uh, employee number EMP number comma e name from MP where cell equal to and this will come as the sub query so all this makes things easy EMP number and EMP so let me also print the salary yes. so we got 1300 from here obviously we can pass directly sal equal to 1300 say for example i remove this sub query and just pass 1300 still then i'll get the answer but this i am finding out so if this sub query will find out so if i just run this particular query I get 1300 and then when I run the full query after selecting and running from here I get Miller as the output Miller is the one among the clerk he is getting the highest salary if I want I can put job also here so that I get to know with this employee number Miller salary and clerk the job is clerk so among the clerk he is getting the highest salary so all anyway sal and job was not mentioned in this query but i have mentioned it just for making things clear so you can do this but mostly answer what is asked okay i'm just trying to put these columns so that to make it easier for you to more to make you understand how this actually works okay mm, display the name of salesman who earns a salary more than the highest salary of any clerk so in this previous query we got the highest salary of clerk okay so let me copy this query or let me write it again select max of cell let me scroll because i don't want to copy from emp where job equal to clerk okay and job equal to clerk 
so job equal to clerk and this will be the name of salesman who earns a salary more than so it should be salary should be more than okay but what i have to do select e name from emp where <coughs> sal is greater than max sal of clerk that is fine okay and what else should be done uh, here what other condition the main condition was where job equal to salesman and and so the first condition is job equal to salesman it should be a salesman salesman who earns salary more than the highest salary okay the first condition let me go make it simpler the first condition display the name of salesman so display e name of salesman who earns who earns salary more than the highest salary among clerks so this is giving me the maximum salary of the clerk so if i have the maximum salary of the clerk if whoever salesman is getting more than the maximum salary of clerk i should print that value so if i print this so this will give me 1300 okay and then say for example i just want to run this query so these are the people who me for job also okay and let me run this particular the selected query the selected part only so here the name is coming and the job is coming so th that means i am getting salesman so and what other condition the salary should be greater than the clerk when i run the full query then allen and turner are the two employees who are salesman getting salary more than the maximum salary of the clerk okay so this is how you have to make the query into bit and pieces and then combine the query and make a bigger query so this is confusing that's why i'm taking time so when initially name is salesman salesman so when i choose this i want salesman so these are the four salesman working in this particular table and now what is happening who earns salary more than the highest salary of clerk so this query gives me the highest salary of the clerk and if the salary of should be greater than the so salary should be greater than so this condition applies and who should be earning the salesman should be earning so that's how you write queries so we are will be write writing further more but if you still have doubt please comment and i will try to answer this question or make a separate video so as you see initial questions were very easy the moment we are going towards the 200th question things are getting harder so that's why i am going slower but still i want you to understand but anywhere any question you have a doubt please comment question number and if any specific doubt on any particular topic i'll try to take that as well okay moving on to the 54th question display the name of clerk who earns a salary more than the lowest salary of any salesman okay display the name of the clerk so either you can write the second part first and then write the first part first choice is always yours but second part is mostly complicated so let me write the second part first so uh, earn salary more than the lowest salary earn salary so salary should be greater than greater than what select min sal because they have done lowest salary min sal min sal from emp where of any salesman where job equal to salesman job equal to salesman so mm, let me close it yes so now here min sal of salesman let's check out 1250 okay then what they want they want display the name of clerks okay select e name from emp where job equal to clerk clerk will be in single quote why it is a string value okay. what a varchar value is what i can say 
who earns salary see name of the clerk so job equal to clerk for sure who earns a salary more than so this is another condition and so here i will get all the clerks so in name let me pass the job also job also okay i see see all the clerks i'm getting and let me pass the salary also because we are checking the salary so this are the salaries so 800 950 1100 1300 so now if you if i run this particular query so what is the minimum salary 1250 but when i see clerk salary some of them are lower than that salary so i don't think all the values will come but only one value miller will come because miller is more than 1250 rest others are getting less than 1250 so let me go ahead and run this total query i'll only get miller so as expected i'll only get miller so here when we are dealing with only 14 15 records i am able to easily find out from the total records which is the output but when you are dealing with millions and billions of records you will not be able to find out so your query should be efficient enough to work in that scenario okay and these things can be solved in multiple ways but this is the easiest way that i am trying to help you understand okay so i have broken this query in multiple pieces so that you can understand please even if you have any doubt please comment in the comment box i'll try to answer that or make a separate video on that and if you're liking the video please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel this gives me motivation to make more videos and come up with more concepts and make you understand these concepts easily the best possible way so moving on 50 for display the name of employees who earn a salary more than that of jones or that of salary greater than that of scott uh -huh. uh, or that okay let me write the second part first uh, where uh, salary more than that of jones okay salary is more than that of select sal from amp where uh, e name equal to jones right e n e s jones Uh, or that of salary uh, or salary or second part again uh, salary greater than that of scott okay so let's self run mp where e name equal to scott okay so let me only get this what is the salary of jones salary of jones is 2975 and salary of scott is 3000 okay display the name of employees who earns a salary more than that of jones or that of salary greater than that of scott okay so let me we just want the name so let me get select name from amp so this will get me all the employees this will get me all the employees all the 14 employees are here but i want those whose salary whose salary are greater than either jones or scott any of the thing any of the thing but <laughs> you know uh, when since they are getting or that of salary of scott because if you put this uh, the lower number itself because jones is getting a lower salary of 2975 and scott is getting a salary lower than uh, is 3000 so on the uh, the smaller number will be considered anyway let me pass uh sell here and run this so if you see so after uh, so now i am selecting uh, employee name and salary and then i am giving this condition of salary should be greater than jones or it should be the salary should be greater than scott so if i run this i'll get these values but here if you see john salary is actually less huh so if i put a equal to sign here and then run then john will also come but that is not the expectation the expectation is expectation is it should be greater than so any i don't think there is any employee who is getting salary in between 2000 let me sort this in order 2975 and 3000 yeah everything else is greater this is the least value if there is any value in between these two that also you would have got <laughs> so anyways uh, good one Uh, let's go to the next one display the name of uh, name of the employees who earn highest salary in their respective departments okay in their respective departments 
okay we will stop here why because 55th question from here onwards we are starting the group by clause and group by clause is really complicated so i need more time to explain that and that's why i will continue this the moment a new topic starts i end there and we will start that topic in the next video so that we have a new start and then it will be able you will be able to understand things better and it will become easy for you to understand so practice keep practicing sql queries and if you have learned anything from this video please don't forget to like this channel and subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon and if this video is benefiting you please share this video with your friends and whoever is in this uh, it field and whoever deals with data please share it with them and see you in the next week bye bye